the information which I came upon, which resulted in the writing of Power versus Force, was an astonishing discovery. For the first time in all of human history, and there evolved the way to discover truth from falsehood. A statement that is so stunning, I'm sure nobody in the audience understands it. <laughs> it took some years to recover from it, five years, in which I tried to decide what to do about it. It was discovered that consciousness itself, consciousness itself records all that ever occurs mentally, emotionally, physically, everything that has ever happened has been recorded throughout all of time. All of what we experience is time. On the level of consciousness, there is no time. So everything is recorded as though all of the past is present. We could recover anything about anything that had happened anywhere in time or space but we could not tell anything about the future. Using the kinesiologic test, we could discover anything that is or was, and, but it cannot be used to foretell the future. The consequence of discovering how to tell truth from falsehood then ended up in calibrating levels of consciousness from one to a thousand. One is bare physical existence, and we asked, what is the most advanced consciousness that has ever existed on the planet? And we got calibration level 1,000. Actually, the numbers were far greater. Therefore, we ended up using the logarithm of the number. We ended up with a usable scale, much like Fahrenheit, centigrade. Anybody can make up their own scale if they like. On everybody's scale, no matter what you make it, there will be at a point that differentiates truth from falsehood. So the kinesiologic test, which I first saw, Dr. John Diamond back in the early 70s, I believe it was, <clears throat> up to that time it was thought to be a local phenomenon. You hold asparagus over your solar plexus, and if you're allergic to it, your arm goes weak. <laughs> it was thought of as a local phenomenon. But by the time I saw it, I had already had a number of rather extraordinary transformations of my own consciousness, and I saw it from a cold, different viewpoint. It was obvious that it was the energy of life as consciousness that was responding to the question and not the individual purpose, person. And so we found that the response, the kinesi kinesiologic test, had nothing to do with the personal opinion of the test subject. And this morning we were asked to demonstrate it. We'll, we'll show you briefly how to do it. Characteristic of life, that life knows that which is supportive of life and that which is not, much like protoplasm. So it's an impersonal response, much like protoplasm knows that which is favorable to it and that which is inimical. And so using this simple test, we were then able to go back over human history, calibrate the level of consciousness of anything and everything that ever existed. Every writer, every philosopher, every spiritual teacher, every movie, every writer, every philosopher, we were able to do countries and continents. What appeared then is though the history of mankind was two-dimensional, black and white, and now we had three-dimensional technicolor. <laughs> it brought forth awarenesses not before possible.